Hello and welcome to PGTV News. I'm Stephen Barnes. And I am Tina Mann. November 16th through 24th is Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. We spoke with Joel Rodriguez, part owner of Ovation Bistro and Bar, about how he and his brother help fight hunger and homelessness in Polk County. Here's Trisha Pichette to live more. Hi, today we're in Ovation Bistro and Bar. I'm here with Joel Rodriguez. He and his brother Fernando own the restaurants in Polk County. You and your brother grew up in Haines City, right? Yeah, we were. Uh, went to Dundee for elementary and Haines City for middle and high school. And uh, then uh, off to the Army for almost a decade. And that, that, was, that was fun. And you both served in the Army? Yeah, we did. My brother, uh, who is, uh, I'm, he's younger than me by three years. We were in high school one year together. I was a senior. He was a freshman. That was a long year for him. But... Uh, yeah, so uh, I left immediately after after high school. Uh, found myself in the in the woods of uh, of Kentucky at Fort Knox in basic training, and uh, he left to Fort Seal, Oklahoma, after he graduated three years later. Now this week is Homelessness Awareness Week, and people are going to wonder why we're here talking about that. But I bet you a lot of people don't know just what how you and your brother give back to the community on a regular basis. Can you tell us some of that? My family uh, uh, was a migrant family who worked all over the, the, uh, the fields and all over the country. Uh, you know, in the winter months, they'd be, you know, down in Florida, here, here in Haines City, where we lived. And then in the summer months, we'd go to Indiana, pick uh, tomatoes or cabbage in New York to do apples and and, uh, and berries. I mean, it was just all over the place. Uh, my granddad moved to Haines City in 1969. My dad and his two sisters were the first uh, Hispanic people in Haines City at the high school. My grandmother still has the news clipping. She has news clippings. It's at my aunt's house now. But uh, so you know, we've always been uh, we've, we've been here. I mean, my dad's been here. He was in high school and a freshman, and I've been here my whole life. And uh, so. We, we appreciate what, you know, Polk County is for us in Haines City, and, and we appreciate our roots. And uh, when, when I got out of the Army, I didn't think there was anywhere else for me to go but home. And uh, when I got home, I kind of started realizing some of the, uh, the things that were, that, were, that, were, uh, that, were, that were missing in the community. I, I saw a lot of, uh, like in Lakeland, a lot of homeless people and and, and I was just like, man, then you're seeing all the crisis in California. And, and I just kept seeing it over and over. And, and so this was when I was still in college uh, working for Outback. And I just, you know, I tried to go help and volunteer, do what I can. But since we opened uh, the ovation, we, we wanted to do more. We felt like we could do more. So from day one, we, uh, on our menu, our first menu, we did, you know, if somebody buys this meal, which was, you know, it was, certain meal that was, you know, the one we wanted to sell more of, you know, so either price-wise or, or, or cost-wise. You know, we, we would donate a meal to Tempe Feed America. And we've also worked with uh, Second Harvest, uh, Catholic Charities. Uh, you know, anybody who, who needs some support, we're always there. And then as the, as the years continued, our menu got bigger, so did our business. So we added more of those meals to the point now we've... Uh, Donated well over 35, 40,000 meals in the five years we've been open, and uh, it, it feels good, you know. And it's a, and it's, it's just it's just it's just a small bit, uh, you know, of the of the of the business we do. So you know, if it's doable and it's affordable, and you know, you know like they say, you can't take it with you. So might as well give a little back. Well, that is you're you're very humble. That is no small thing. 30, 40,000 meals. That's a lot of meals. <laughs> It just it adds up, you know, five thousand a month here. We do, you know, three thousand, five thousand. You know, one month we had a good month, and it seems like everybody got those kind of meals. I was like, Ugh, ten thousand meals in one month. Ugh, that was a good, that was a good month. So, uh, you know, we also help with anybody, anybody who has a, a you know, a five hundred one three C organization who who wants to do good here in our community. We're always willing to help. We we've also started a, a nonprofit organization ourselves the Ovation Bistro Foundation, which is sole purpose is to help Polk County residents. We've 
keep giving out scholarships to local, local deserving uh, high school kids for college. You know, we've bought uh, school uniforms and school uh, sports athletic uh, gear and uh, we're, we're very we're very involved and uh, and engaged with our community when uh, so much so that I turned down a restaurant in you were in a garden to to open the one in Lakeland because it was it was either one or the other and I just felt like I wanted to stay in Polk County because that's where our influence was and so we did for people who who don't or work in the restaurant business or haven't worked in the restaurant business, it is it is grueling at times. The hours are long and it's it's hard work. Yeah. So thank you so much for finding time within all of of what goes on it in running a business like this. Finding the time to give back to your community, it, it's really admirable. I've made it easier on myself. You know, I, I've got it. I've got it pretty streamlined and it's just all about, you know, another system or another process that's the same as repetitive, but, but it is grueling, it is grinding. I mean, you know, me and my brother both still work over 80 hours a week. Uh, we both have infant daughters, uh, which, you know, you know, at the end, you know, so we think, you know, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, maybe a couple years out. Uh, and, and we're excited to give back and we're excited to help. and. Um, it's part of who we are, so it's not even making time for it. It is in our organizational DNA that that's what we do because we've done it since day one. So it's not like, oh, this is the extra. It's just this is what we do. This is how we got to find the time. We got to, you know, we got to sell those meals. You know, we got to, we got to, you know, donate to the, we, we, we also donate thousands of dollars every year to, to like uh, anybody, who, anybody who has a good deed or a good cause. And uh, I think that the, the rebound off that or, or, or the, the karma, if you believe in that thing, is, is, is tremendous. And, uh, and, I, and I'm living proof. Well, we are really glad that you came back to Polk County and thank you for the impact you have on the county, both, both to our, our less fortunate residents and to your employees. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.